Hey everybody, Ash here with Jensense, back with my wife, Chelsea again. I'm trying to look cool. So uh, today is a video that's actually her idea. She's been pitching this to me for like a couple of months now. Uh, she wants to smell and rate most of Parfums Vintage's line because she's a big Parfums Vintage fanboy, big pineapple vintage, or fangirl, I guess, actually. Ever since I got the first one, she's been all about Parfums Vintage. So we've got 10 Parfums Vintage fragrances. We got the dry down sprayed already. She's gonna smell the dry down, smell the opening of each one, and she's gonna rate these out individually, one to 10, and we're gonna figure out uh, which of these are your favorites, I guess. So, are you ready? Super excited and ready. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Are you prepared? So prepared. Are you sure? I've been training the entire last two months for this. No, you haven't. <laughs> That's a complete fabrication. <laughs> All right, so first up, is Emerald Isle. Okay, so this one is the dry down, and I'm gonna spray the opening on this one. There's the opening. All right. We're not gonna go through the dry downs and then the openings of each fragrance separately like we've done in the past. She's just gonna smell the dry down and smell the opening at the same time for the same fragrance, and then give a one to 10. So I'm gonna say that this one is, honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it an 8.5. Okay. I think it's a very good replica of Green Irish Tweed because I think that's what they were going for, right? Right. Yeah. Green Irish Tweed. It's <coughs> up here. Oh, yeah. So oh. I think that they did a really good job on that. It smells super good. Good job. You nailed it. So 8.5 on Emerald Isle to start out uh, the whole batch. That's pretty good. Next up is Pineapple Vintage X Batch. So here's the dry down, and I will spray the opening for you. And if you hear sirens in the background, something happened apparently, I don't know. They're coming for you. Not me, probably you. Yeah, actually, probably would be me over you. Mm, oh, super sweet. I love this one. Oh, this is gonna be so hard. You're gonna have to make your decisions, ultimately. I guess I'm gonna have to give it a nine. It's pretty high. I gotta give it just a half a point higher than the last one. It's just super sweet, it's fresh, and it just smells amazing. So, nine. The very in-depth breakdown for Pineapple Vintage x Batch, getting a nine. But um, th this is all her, this is her video. This is a uh, fangirl, you know, to the maximum video, so. All right, next up, here's the dry down is uh, Rush of Unicorns. Rush of Unicorns. Here's the opening. I mean, I guess if I had to imagine what a unicorn would smell like, this would probably be it. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't even know if that's what they were going for. Like, I think this is what unicorns would smell like. It smells fresh. It smells like, I don't know, a unicorn is just like standing on one of those um, like cliffs, you know, like in Ireland that you see in videos and their, their mane is just, I mean, what, wafting in the wind. That's, that's what I'm picturing. Um, the name, the name, uh, they could have done a little bit better on the name. But overall, I mean, God, it's just so hard. Your breakdown is just great. This is, this is just such a good house. Um, uh, Lord, I'm gonna give it an 8.5. All right. So it smells like unicorns a unicorn. wafting on a cliff in Ireland. Their main. Like when you said that, I kind of wanted to shrink <laughs> and disappear <laughs> off video so that I wouldn't be associated with what you were saying. So this is their take on Millicene Imperial by Creed, and it's a really good one. Okay. <laughs> Up next, after that, just great breakdown. Evolution de l'Homme Soir, which is one that I reviewed. It is Parfums Vintage's take on Elysium by Raja Duff. Raja Parfums. Raja Parfums. Raja Parfums. I don't even know. Smells very good. <clears throat> um, fresh. Yeah, gosh, so hard. Um, no more thoughts of 
unicorns <laughs> dancing in a meadow. <laughs> None of those. Yeah, good. Smells kind of uh, lemony. Mm. Maybe a little, you know, just citric. I'm gonna give it an eight. An eight. But no, it did not bring me to, you know, the thoughts of unicorns happy dancing. So that means that one's actually in last place right now. I weep for Evolution de Lomsoi. Up next is Pineapple Vintage Intense. So this is, uh, at this point, I guess like a classic Parfums Vintage Fragrance, you would say. One of the first. I could just smell this like every single day of my life. That is a 10 out of a 10. Okay. It's a 10 out of a 10. A 10 out of a 10. It's just, you know when you get that scent and it just does it for you? That's the scent that just does it for me. Fair enough. Sorry. I've always said that you were like a, a big fangirl for Pineapple Vintage Intense specifically. Yes. So it's, it's come up on Facebook before. Yep. And um, I think maybe some people don't believe me when I say that. Like they think that I'm just... Uh... <laughs> no. I love, I love me some Pineapple Vintage, some Parfums Vintage. I mean, it's just... You know when you find that house that's just, you know, where you tend to go when you spray a fragrance on? This, if I, if I were a man, <laughs> this would be my house. This would be your house. This would be my house. All right, fair enough. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I would literally smell that sun up to sundown. Now uh, let's go to this one. <laughs> All right, this one is Exultant Le Musque. You've got the dry down in your hand. Now you have the opening in your hand. This is a good one, but it is probably, I'm gonna have to say, my least favorite so far. I need to work on my surprised face. That one wasn't very good. I could have done a better one. <laughs> I am going to give that, it smells, it does smell good. It smells masculine, uh, but I, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. 7.5. Mmm, violet and blueberry. Hmm, interesting. I would not have picked out blueberry. Yeah, uh, it's heavier on violet than it is blueberry, but. All right, this one's Pineapple Vintage Vanilla Intense. So you've got the dry down, here's the opening. I mean, it's very true to its name. I smell vanilla immediately. Um, yeah, smelling this house just makes me want to like, like if there was like a disco ball in the background and we were playing like some good music, like I would just be sitting like, this would be like, I'd be living my best life right now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. I'm gonna give it an eight. An eight? Yep. Don't like Vanilla Intense as much as Pineapple Vintage Intense. Uh, Still PVI is the uh, yeah, it's, your I mean, favorite. Again, I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> English <laughs> is your second language. There's no <laughs> words to describe how good that one is for me. Pineapple Vintage Intense, you mean? Yep. All right. 10 out of 10. Pull, 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 pull. Just like your wife. Uh, 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 <laughs> like right. Solid five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that means I just failed. Okay, here you go. I'm just busting on you. This one is uh, Sunset in <clears throat> Heaven. It smells very light. Mm -hmm. It's a very light scent. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give that an eight. An eight. Seems to be your go-to score. Up next is Emperor X Straight, Pineapple Vintage Emperor X Straight. So you've got the dry down. Here's the opening. Ah, <laughs> oh, that opening's super good. Uh, which one is this one again, this one? Emperor X Straight, yep. Oh, so good. Like, I feel like a crackhead sometimes. <laughs> you look like one. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm smelling of this house because I'm just like. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> you seem that way, yeah. You're a drug addict getting your fix. Honestly, on, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, pineapple. Yeah. Vintage. I do. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna give that a nine. A nine. So you're still sticking with pineapple vintage intense as your <laughs> favorite favorite. There is not even any words to express my actual love for that, for pineapple vintage intense. Trying to make a good De Niro? It's, I mean, honestly, if I had to pick in between you and pineapple vintage intense, bye Felicia. You can take the bottle. <laughs> All right, let's do this last one. Sublime Musk. You've got the dry down. I've got the opening. Put it together and give me a score. It smells also kind of vanilla -y. Mm. Sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to give that an 8.5. 8.5. That means if we go by the scores that you gave overall, Pineapple Vintage Intense, number one. X-Batch, 
Emperor Extrait tied for second with nine. At 8.5, Emerald Isle, Rush of Unicorns, and Sublime Musk. But I feel like we need to do a couple of these blind again. This is the true <laughs> mother freaking deal right here, boy. I'm gonna write on these tester strips what each one of these is. You will not see it. And this is going to be the five <clears throat> uh, top scoring fragrances. Uh, make sure I'm not missing anything. This is where it gets real nitty gritty. The intensity level is like, it's rising. I can feel it. <clears throat> Are you nervous? No. It is what it is. You're nervous. You bet to get exposed, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these you should realistically be able to tell apart pretty frigging easily. And if you don't, I'm gonna be <clears throat> disappointed in you. This is gonna be the bomb. I got five of these. I got them ready to roll. Okay. Um, so this is blind mode, all right? Mm -hmm. um, close your eyes and I'll hand you these th <laughs> these uh, five, okay? I'm gonna hand okay. them to you. Keep your freaking eyes closed. My eyes are closed, I can't uh, see anything. Now, take turns smelling them. You can okay. use your other hand. And then <laughs> you can tell me your three favorite uh, and then hand them to me and I will announce the wieners. This has turned into a, a dumpster fire of a video. <laughs> and let me know when you wanna smell them again, you know. Are you keeping them in order? Yeah. Okay, so number three is uh, the first, number five is the second, and... Do you need to resmell these? Yeah, let me resmell them. Okay. Ooh. I thought you were handing them all <laughs> to me. Okay. Uh, like, <laughs> weird. <laughs> <laughs> this one's the third. Okay, so first, PVI, Pineapple Vintage Intense. Woo! First. <laughs> okay, second, EE, e. Emperor Extrait. It's also Pineapple Vintage. Oh, I don't know. Oh, good. I'm aware. Number three, X Batch. So, there we go, with your little blind smellies. You picked out correctly, uh, Pineapple Vintage Intense was number one. And then uh, Emperor X Straight and X Patch were tied nine each, and you got those second and third. This one was the this one was the real the real deal. I don't even know what face I'm making there. <clears throat> uh, your same dumb face that you always make. Look at there! Oh my god! Whoa. What? You're just realizing that you're ugly. <laughs> 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 All right, oh. you got done rating your your Parfums Vintage fragrances. Are you happy? Oh, I'm su I'm super pumped right now. I mean, other than getting pushed out of my chair, <laughs> um, you're okay. <laughs> yeah, no, this was a uh, this is a long time coming. I was super excited. Super pumped. Yes. You really like the Pineapple Vintage yes. line of fragrances. It's my favorite house. I was talking specifically. Ooh, about oh yeah, the Pineapple Vintage. Yeah. It just did like a pirouette on the table, but saved it. Do they make women's fragrances? Uh, I don't think so. Well, they, some of them are kind of unisex, you know. Where's that, uh, you know, women's line there, Parfums Vintage? Where are you at with that? Some of them are unisex-ish. <laughs> That's not good enough. So I guess you request women's fragrances. We're living in a day and age of women. I don't have we the need beanie to pull back over my head. <laughs> But yeah, I see where you're coming from. It's gonna do it for us. Thank you for watching Parfums Vintage Fragrances now complete. So now I don't have to do, or hear from you rather, asking to do this uh, video. Um, so Parfums Vintage is completed. Kinda sad so now. Happy. Yeah, because now you have to do what I want you to do in the next video. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time with another video. Uh, well, I will. She might be on one of them, but okay, thanks. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>